Hi guys, Craig here from out there touring. So I've been asked, how much does this cost you um, to do your trips? So I thought I'd try to do a, a little breakdown. This won't be a long video, it'll be just a, a short little video um, to give you guys some idea of the cost. Um, not just the cost for me to get out here, but also like, say for the camp cookups. So I'll try to break it down a little bit it won't be in great detail um, and I'll try to share with you also some of the apps that I use. How much does this cost you? Um, you know, how much do you spend on your travel? So it's a little bit different obviously than if I was touring or traveling full time because you just go from destination to destination. Um, whereas my costs are probably a little bit different and a little bit more because I travel here for one night. Um, I may stay two nights or go to another location. Then I go home. Then the next week, I'll travel somewhere else and then come home. So my kilometers are not quite double, but probably um, one and a half times if compared to if I was doing just one continuous trip. So what I'll try to do is um, just a little breakdown. It's, it's, everybody's gonna be different depending on how far you travel. But I'll try to break down uh, how many kilometers I get uh, or per litre of uh, fuel or diesel and also a rough breakdown of the cost of a cook-up. Again, that's going to vary depending on what you like and what you want to do. Also, I'll share with you a couple of apps I use as far as trying to find the best uh, price diesel or fuel depending on if you're running petrol or diesel and also how I keep that or log that into my phone. Radio. so the first uh, app that I use uh, to try to find the best price diesel or fuel um, in the area I am, it's called Petrol Spy. Now how that works, it pinpoints where you are and then it shows all the um, service stations close by to you and it at each service station, it's got the price of what they're charging for whatever fuel you want. And you can go through the filters and you can change it from diesel to petrol to E10 or whatever. It will show you the best price. Now, if I'm near empty and I've got to travel an extra kilometre or two and I'm saving 15 to 20 cents per litre, I'll do a quick little round trip and I'll fill up. Some of the price differences um, within a couple of kilometres of you or even on the, the trip you're actually going, it can be 30 cents a litre. Um, if you're going away every week or if you're travelling the country, that soon adds up. So that's what I use, uh, petrol spike. Uh, I find it really good. And as I said, sometimes you may only save, you know, six, seven, 10 cents a litre, but there's been a lot of occasions, especially over the last few months with petrol prices or diesel prices jumping up and down so much that I've saved 25 cents a litre and I've had to fill the tank from near empty. So what's that, 70 litres, that's uh, $14, $20, uh, and it adds up real quick. So the other app that I use is called Fuel Map Australia. Now what this one does, it allows you to enter your odometer reading when you fill up, how many litres you put in, how, um, how much it costs per litre, and even if you've got a discount uh, vouchers, you can put that in there as well, and then it'll tell you how much you've paid for it. There's a little box down the bottom saying, is your tank full? Uh, if you tick yes, then it's going to calibrate or work out how many kilometres you've got um, 
to the leader. If you don't tick that, it'll still work it out. Now, I'm not 100% convinced that it works it out correctly because some of my readings are that I'm getting like um, 6.86 litres per 100 kilometres and others tell me um, 12.5 litres per 100 or there was a few here where it was at 29 litres per 100. So I don't think it works it out very accurately but it gives you a rough idea. Um, I think I'm running at about 12 litres per 100. So I've just checked my speedo. Uh, I reset the trip meter when I left home this morning to come out here. It's about 65 kilometres. Um, so it's a return trip. So that's going to be 130 kilometres. Working out at the 12 litres to the 100. Uh, what's that? That's about 16, 16 litres roughly. $2 a litre, so about $32 it's cost me to come out here. And that's where it's the, um, and depending on where you travel to, but that's where the petrol cost, I suppose, you can't compare it to doing one round trip around Australia because I would come out to this destination, I would stay here for a couple of nights, then I'd move on to the next one and I'd continue that loop or my journey. Whereas the way I'm doing it at the moment, it's home, camp, maybe another camp, then home, and then next week, camp, and I keep going backward and forward, so I'm using more fuel in returning home. The day will come where I get to do the big lap, um, and that's when I'll give you some costings there as well. Cost for a camp cook-up. There's so many variables in this one. Um, depending on whether I've got some of the ingredients already in the pantry, like the sauces or um, salts, peppers, uh, spices, the uh, rubs that I've now sort of got in there as well. So I won't include them because um, I'm, I'm hopefully getting four, five, six cooks out of them. So say a couple of dollars there anyway, we'll just share it across the board. A, a, what I'd call a really good cook up, one of my roast or the ribs, um, one that's by this time you would have already seen it. So the pork knuckles cooked in Coca Cola, those cook ups can go anywhere from 30 to 50 dollars uh, in groceries. So that could break down to probably say 12 dollars to um, $15 a meal because um, usually I get three or four meals out of one of my cook-ups and or I can feed three or four people if they're at camp with me. So that cost isn't that great. It, it seems like a lot for coming away from one night camp and you're spending you know, an extra $50 on groceries. Um, but when you break it down to the amount of meals I'm probably getting out of it, that's not that bad at all and I'm enjoying the experience um, being out here in nature, campfires or barbecues depending on what I'm doing. Um, I'm not sure you could ask for anything better. I suppose there's one more additional cost to my touring um, and my cook-ups. Alcohol. You'll already know I just drink Jim Beam. I don't drink beer. Um, I, I'm a bourbon drinker. So again, that depends on what sort of night I'm going to have. There'll be a couple of videos you'll see. And you'll go, <laughs> Craig's had a big night. Generally out here, um, just enjoying nature, have a few drinks. So it's probably you know one liters of bourbon for you know two trips. Um, or two nights away. So there's an extra $60 or $30 a trip. So probably roughly, um, if you add that all up, it might be $100 for a, a weekend away. Generally I try to find free camps, so I'm not, haven't got that cost. Um, and then on top of that, of course, you've got your normal wear and tear on your vehicle, which you're gonna get anyway, whether you're going away for one night or the whole year if you're lucky enough to travel. Right, guys, um, 
that's a rough idea of what a one night camp costs me at the moment. Now again, that's a different scenario than if I was traveling full time. Obviously it wouldn't be costing me $100 a night or $100 for the weekend of camping because some of that costs will be spread out over um, more journeys. Um, so it wouldn't be as bad as that or as, or as expensive as that. And also, I wouldn't be doing camp cook-ups every night that I was traveling. I'll just bring you uh, one of the camp cook-ups and hopefully you're enjoying that. So the cost wouldn't be as bad as that if I was traveling full time. But they're the little things you've got to factor into it that, you know, the fuel obviously is a big cost for everybody traveling. Um, maintenance on your vehicle, your registration, your insurances, then um, your site fees. If you're staying in caravan parks, I stayed in one a couple of weeks ago for the first time and $30, it cost me friends. I was fortunate that they'd already booked it, but $30 for a little piece of land. Um, if you're doing that every night of the, your tour, it's gonna be expensive. It's gonna add up real quick. So try to find these little hidden gems. Um, they're very accessible to everybody. Right guys, that's it for this video. I'm gonna wrap it up there. Um, got a few things I gotta go and do and try to enjoy myself a little bit while I'm out here. Just thought I'd uh, share that with you and try to break it down a little bit. And yeah, any comments, drop a message to me. I'm on Facebook, Instagram now as well. Still trying to learn those platforms. Um, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you could do me one favor, watch the videos from start to finish and uh, like, share, drop a comment, subscribe to the channel and yeah, travel safely guys. Thanks for watching.